I every once in a while wanted to give a quick, uh, make a quick video about this fuel packs made by Rotapax. We've been running for almost six months. Um, there's a little difference, a little confusion between fuel packs and Rotapax. Fuel packs is just a line made by Rotapax. A little different manufacturing process. It's a little thinner wall. I don't remember the exact differences, but they're less expensive. Less expensive and thinner wall means it holds more fuel. So this is a four and a half gallon. I think the Rotopax version this size is only four gallons. Um, the thinner wall, there's no concern. Uh, if you were to pick this thing up, you would be impressed with the, the build quality on it. It's not flimsy like a cheap gas can. So that being said, I've been happy with it. Um, wanted to kind of explain a couple things. I know when I was shopping for this, there was a lot of confusion on vented caps and swelling and, and all that. So. The basics of it are, in 2009, I believe it was, the EPA made a new regulation that gas cans basically had to be sealed. You couldn't have the vent and the, the free flow and spout, uh, which wasn't necessarily a bad thing, you know, but, but it sure made it difficult for a gas can to work right. So these are completely sealed. In heat, they will expand. When it gets cold, they will shrink. Uh, per Rotopax, you need to vent them. Um, I've always made it a point that if we go over the mountain or whatnot, I check it, and if it needs to be vented, I just pop the cap and let it vent and, and close it back up. Hasn't been an issue. This one is still maintaining its shape. It has been on the roof rack for, like I said, almost six months, almost every day. I, for about a week last week, I didn't have it up there and I'll get to that for in a minute. But uh, so far, so good. I'll put a link in the description below on these guys. I got this one off of Amazon. Uh, I think it was about a hundred bucks and it came with the two mounts. So really been happy with it. But one thing I do want to address and then I'm gonna kind of show is how to hopefully make it work better because with that EPA regulation, the spout is an eco spout and it is a pain in the butt, especially if you're trying to fill it in a rig in a vehicle. Um, so we're gonna change it out to a self venting spout, uh, which is just the kit that pretty much works on any tank, but it gives you a, a vent so it breathes a little bit better uh, and a little more free flowing and it gets rid of the safety locky thing on it just makes it a little easier to operate. They can't sell it with this. So you can't really be mad at fuel packs or auto packs or anybody because they can't sell it with this spout. They have to have the eco one that everybody hates. Um, just part of the regulations, part of the rules. So it is what it is, but these guys are, they're less than 10 bucks. I got a couple of them. I got one for an extra. It comes with the vent cap, which we're obviously not gonna use because we don't have a vent uh, on the back here, but I'm gonna swap this out and kind of show you guys how it works and then fill the rig with it because I need to recycle or cycle this fuel out anyways, go refill it. So I'll uh, get this in there real quick and kind of show you the differences. I don't know if you heard it, but it vented just a little bit because it is, even though it's not warm today, it's out in the sun. So not a big deal. And one other thing I do want to mention about Rotopax. So this is the the eco spout that everybody hates it's got this locking safety on it and a plunger system but again it's what they have to sell with their tank it's federal regulation that being said about two weeks ago i noticed this gasket was tore uh, i don't know if i did it if it was on their crooked whatever it was that gasket was bad uh quick email or two to rotopax and a week later I had three new gaskets so that's actually a new gasket they just sent them in the mail made it nice and easy so uh big shout out to rotopax for just kind of making you know correct customer service i guess making it work uh, the way it should have been done. So yeah, they're only a couple bucks and I was going to order them anyways, but they sent them no big deal. So that is a nice, a nice thing for a company to take care of people. So again, that's the old spout. We're going to get rid of that. Okay. So the new spout comes with their own cap. I don't actually know if you can use the old one, the Rotobax brand one. But anyways, I'm gonna use the one that came with the new nozzle just because I wanna make sure it threads on there. But you know what, it does not thread on there. So maybe we have to use the Rotopax one. Let me size them up and see if it works. Okay, so I don't think it's an issue, but that nut, the Rotopax nut is actually bigger than the replacement, but it appears it's gonna work. So let's close it up like we were going to put it back into storage spout in there comes with this little plug it's nice and snug in there I don't see a problem with that I don't see why it wouldn't work
Okay, so pretty basic, but there's the replacement nozzle in there. It all fits good. So let's take it back out and flip it around. Pour the fuel in the rig here. And their plug fits in there nice and snug, so get that out of there. Pour this in the rig and see if we cannot make a mess here. much faster than the other one did with a lot less hassle. Um, actually, it's working better than I thought it would. It's venting out nicely. I don't know if you can hear it gargling on the camera, but it's, it's dumping fuel in there. Plus, this is a flexible nozzle, whereas the one that comes with them, again, the EPA-regulated one, is not flexible, so uh, you tend to spill more if you're trying to do it. speed that up but I'll post how long that took to or I'll put right here on the video how long that took to do four and a half gallons but it dumped out pretty free-flowing actually I'm really impressed with that nozzle it vented really well and that was uh, almost as good as having the old gas cans that had the, the breather on it um, didn't spill a drop not a drop anywhere that worked really good I'm really happy with that uh, so let me button this back up and, and we'll talk about it some more Okay, so again, that worked really well. That uh, poured fast, poured good. I'm pretty happy with that. <laughs> should have done that long ago, probably should have done that first thing when I got this. Uh, but that's it, again, the fuel packs by Rotopacks. I will put a link to everything uh, involved here in the description below. Um, and I'm gonna go fill this up. One thing I also do just as a, a kind of a tip is I tend to fill them with clear fuel, non-ethanol, because it stores a little bit better, but I also cycle the gas through every few months, so. If you're going to keep it for a while, it may not hurt to get clear fuel somewhere, pay that extra few bucks, but otherwise, just every few months, dump it in, fill it back up, and you're good. Keeps recycling it, keeps it good. So, uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Okay.